later at night and you don't want to make much of a sound because there's only one small piece of caramel cake left. And you don't want anybody to know that you're the one eating it. Mm. <laughs> I need a glass of milk. Watch this. Let me tell you what's in here. This is just a medium stock pot with three cups of sugar and a cup and a third of whole milk. And it's just starting to get warm and the sugar's starting to melt. Over here, I have a small skillet with a fourth a cup plus one extra tablespoon of granulated sugar. And they're both on medium high, level seven. So I'm stirring this occasionally because it has milk in it. All of a sudden, the sugar is turning into caramel. It's gonna be that pretty color and we're just kind of letting it do its thing. And it's gonna turn an amber color. And I'm just kind of shaking it around a little bit so the other will melt. And let it do its thing. And you've gotta watch it. Okay. We're almost there. That last little bit of sugar's got to melt. And as soon as it does, and it's all caramel, I am gonna turn the heat down just a little bit to about just medium, level five. Okay, and we want that dark amber color. Come on, that last little bit of sugar to melt. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And it is Gone as far as I'm concerned. Now we're gonna add it and whisk it in to the hot milk, milk and sugar mixture. It bubbled and foamed up a little bit, but you know what? That's how you get that pretty caramel color. So now I'm gonna go back to just stirring this. It's on medium high and I'm going to put in a candy thermometer and we're gonna cook it up to 238 degrees. So there is a point where because of the milk foams with the hot sugar you're going to need a heavier high-sided stock pot rather than a saucepan i just showed you what not to do don't use a small pan like i was just using okay and we're cooking this to 238 it's almost to 220 so it's getting there and it's still on medium high level seven and i'm going to check back with you when we get to 238 and I'm stirring it so it doesn't burn. We're getting there, folks. We are right before that softball. We are at 230. Then there, those little hash marks to the left are two increments of two. So there's 232, almost 234. And we're going to take it off at 238. I just took it out of the stock pot. And I have a stick and a half of butter. Okay? which is unsalted butter. And I'm gonna put the whisk down and start it on low. And one at the time, I'm gonna add that butter to it. And it'll help cool it. Almost all of the butter is gone. And I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of very good real vanilla extract. We're gonna to continue to beat this I'm going to crank up the speed just a little bit so it will go ahead and cool. And do you see how it's leaving those trail marks? And you see how it's sloshing up on the edges and it comes back down? That's what we want to see is a happy medium between getting this too cool and too thick and getting it just right. Okay, I just stopped it, and when it streams and ribbons like that, it's ready, okay? We're going to put it onto the cake. I have my handy dandy scooper. That's about a fourth of a cup scooper, and I'm going to scoop this delicious. Look at that caramel, oh my gosh. I'm gonna scoop it about three scoops worth. You could split these layers and do a six layer cake, but I'm taking it to friends who love it. 
and it will drip, but it's thick. What you want to do is spread it from the middle to the outside. And if you need to add some more, there's plenty of icing, you can add some more. And I've got my little spinning carousel thing here. And I just spread it out to the edge. And I like it to be thick in the middle because they like their caramel. All right, I'm gonna do this with all three layers. If you'll notice, the icing is starting to set up and get a little harder. So when you do this, you can't go get on a phone call and or lollygag and do something else. You got to go on and ice this thing. Okay, I have spread it evenly around. And now what I'm going to do is take my spatula and make sure these layers are covered. All three layers, up and down. I take the extra up and down, just like that. And it is setting and cooling. And there you are, old fashioned caramel icing on a yellow cake. This is a good dessert to make the day before or early in the morning before you're gonna serve it. For more quick recipes and tried and true tips, please subscribe so you don't miss anything. Please come join me anytime. I'll get you a glass of sweet tea. You can sit down in that stool and just watch me cook and talk to me. Look how velvety and rich that icing is in between those delicious vanilla layers. Oh my gosh. You've got to make this. It's not hard. You can do it. Just be careful with the bowl and sugar and everything else is a piece of cake. God bless you. Thank you. The final bite. Good stuff.